What is going on everybody? Welcome back to 10 in the Pit. Today, everybody asks what we do to clean our bowling balls. Everybody asks what we call regular or typical league bowler maintenance. Correct? Especially after your Black Widow video. Some interesting comments. Man. You should see the ones I didn't let get posted. So, what we're going to do, we're going to walk you through the proper way to clean a bowling ball. Quentin has so happily agreed to show us the incorrect way to clean a bowling ball. So, until Quentin um, became one of our staffers, he cleaned a bowling ball like this. I did not. But other ball cleaners weren't as useful compared to this one. So, anyway, um, there's quite a few ball cleaners on the market. But what I used to do, <clears throat> basically because I bowled so much and stuff like that, and I just didn't care, I still do, but um, I would just spray and then wipe. So, granted, that gets rid of the surface contamination, but it doesn't go deeper into the ball and clean the oil out of the surface, especially a solid bowling ball such as the Optima Vital. Um, if you want the maximum performance out of a ball, you want to do this, you want to clean your ball after one or two sets. Good. Honestly. Every three games, right. roughly. Right. So, that's how you... Half, half, half. That's how you half-ass clean a ball ball right there. He literally just showed... So if you take your ball cleaner, you get your ball, your fancy new uh, ball cup down on the table, you spray it and you wipe it off really quick, you just half-ass cleaned your bowling ball. Congratulations. So, everybody wonders what we do. First thing you want to do, take your favorite ball cleaner, no matter what it is, they're all pretty much... Similar chemicals. Similar. Just make sure that it's, you know, USB-C approved, PBA approved. I do not recommend straight rubbing alcohol on today's cover stocks. I don't think it reacts well. But the first thing you want to do is ball cleaner is cheap. You're spending 10, 12 dollars on ball cleaner. Get the most out of it. Cover your bowling ball in it. Now, as you can tell here, I'll try to zoom in if I can in editing. There's a lot of grime and dirt and build up even after he just wiped it off. Motive came out with this fantastic little product. If you've never tried this, you should order some of these. These are these are great. They're called Power Pucks, bowling ball erasers or whatever. What I, what I do is I use the orange side first and I just scrub the bowling ball as the ball cleaner is sitting there soaking on the bowling ball. This is what I do for most of my pearls. I'm going to show you why I don't really do this to my solids here in a second. But you can see all of the black and grime coming off this bowling ball after he already cleaned it. Now, this will remove almost anything, but for a solid bowling ball, what I recommend is you find the Avalon pad that is your box finish or where you want to keep your box finished. You never use a, a sanding pad dry, uh, dry either. Make sure you get it wet or damp it. And then you just kind of lightly hit most of this with the right amount of pressure all the way around the bowling ball. This will freshen up your cover. This is basically what a typical league bowler does after every three games or after 10 games. This is a little bit more thorough. But as you can tell, Quentin's already cleaned this bowling ball once, right? Right. Then you just dry it off. Come on, switch sides. You're rubbing dirt in the cover now. Oh, yeah, okay. The dirt that you already cleaned off when you cleaned your bowling ball, right? Hey. Hey, hey. So, one of the biggest things you'll notice once you clean your bowling ball, you'll feel the tack up. Even if it isn't tack up bowling ball cleaner, any good bowling ball will give you, bowling ball cleaner will give you this result. So, a comment was made you don't want to have your ball resurfaced after every 10 games. That's just gonna wear out the cover, that's gonna decrease your bowling ball's life. 
Correct. overall. You're, you, like, you're, you're certain size requirements, I believe, are eight and a half inches in diameter. And as you tear down a cover with diamonds and then rebuild it back to factory specs, it gets a little smaller after each time. So if you're just trying to keep your, your bowling ball fresh, hit it with some surface as you clean it. And this is what my guys do during during the, the review process. That's why we put 50 to 60 games on it. Sometimes you'll catch them, they are a little lane shine, but that happens more frequently with the HK22 solids than any other solid on the market right now. With all of them that we have tested, except for Radical's version, for some reason the HK22 on the Radical Bone Ball doesn't get pearled up as quick as the other Brunswick products. That being said, it's very hard to stay very on top of, unless you're doing this process after almost every three to six games with the new Brunswick cover stocks for some reason. But that is how you properly keep your bowling ball clean and fresh for bowling season. Now, some bad things that you do not want to do, um, like James was saying earlier, the alcohol, I believe that's illegal. I'm not going to get into that. Yeah, yeah. Per USBC rules. Yeah, I'm not going to get into that. But, but yeah. I mean, any league that you're in that is US, USBC certified, you're not supposed to use that. Um, another thing, don't use your heater and stuff at home to get the oil out of the ball. That's You want to use a professional pro shop to do that for you. Um, it's very easy to mess up, and they have specially made heaters to do exactly that. The whole point is when you do it at home, you can't normally rotate your bowling ball. Right. I, I, I've seen a lot of horror videos. I wasn't going to go this far into yeah, with this but, video, but I mean, I've, I've, I've been brought bowling balls that have been split in half because they tried to bake it in their oven, or they have um, a heat surface damage to the cover because they tried to dehumidify it and they didn't keep the ball rotating. The pro shop is there for your your guys' benefit. Don't be afraid to stop in your pro shop. Build a rapport with them. Go in, ask some simple questions. Get to know the pro shop operator, and it'll go a long ways. We're not all bad guys. There's a few of us out there that are horrible to deal with, but, you know, we're not all bad guys. But that is basically, I just wanted to cover the how to clean your bowling ball and what we do in between sets so you guys know exactly what we do. Now, for a pearl bowling ball, we don't do the Avalon pad. We do pretty much a microfiber, wipe it off, may, maybe the magic puck, depending on how the guys feel. For pearls, you just normally clean the cover. But this is how my guys take care of their bowling ball for the 50 to 60 games in between the review. Right. So even though we're not, even though for Quinton's Hammer 3.0 review, he made a comment, oh, it probably does need to be de-oiled and resurfaced. That doesn't mean he neglects the cover the entire time, guys. It's... But we do we put that amount of games on it for a reason to see how long that reaction lasts. And yes, we do see a decrease in quite a few bowling balls that we test. Um, but after our reviews, that's when we do that process. We rejuvenate the ball back to factory standards. And if we like it, it stays in our bag. And if it doesn't, it gets put in the pile. We got we got a pretty good pile. Yeah, we, we do. We do. Yeah, we do. But so. If you ever wondered how to clean a bowling ball, that's how you clean a bowling ball. Questions, comments, concerns? Put them in below. I'll answer them. I answer almost all the comments that I um, allow get posted. So if you got any questions, don't be afraid to hit us up. And as normal, bowl of five, we're not even bowling, but we're still wearing them. Best jerseys in the game. Especially on a hot day in a week today. Correct. Click the URL, discount code below. That will take you right to Bowl of Five, and it will save you a couple of bucks on your next jersey purchase. If you watch this video all the way to this end, I appreciate it. Wouldn't mind. Like, share, subscribe, hit the post notification bell. We'll see you all next time.